In my last couple inspections, I hadn't found any brood in the hives, but today I'm really hoping to find not just eggs, but larvae and capped brood. Let's get into it and see how the bees are doing. So now we'll inspect the bees in Taj Mahal. We'll start with hive one, which is my strongest colony. This was one of the splits off of the mother colony. And they overwintered on seven frames as opposed to five frames for the other colonies. So I'm hoping that they're gonna do really well. There's been a ton of activity at the entrance for this hive. So let's see how they're doing. So we've got a bunch of bees on there, pretty active and they're kind of packing away some nectar in there. You probably won't be able to see, but it's kind of shiny down in the cells um, as they store up some nectar in there. Got a little bit of pollen in there, but uh, mostly wet nectar. Okay, I can tell right away this frame is pretty heavy. Lots of bees. So they've got this uh, kind of packed up with, with pollen and bee bread in there. I apologize for the light, you may not be able to see very well, but they've got all sorts of pollen stored up in there and little honey across the top there. As this hive got larger, I always noticed that uh, the larger they got, the more defensive they got, but you can see they're not aggressive. They're just going to defend their territory and good for them. Now we do have a good quantity of bees in here. I'm real happy about that. And I do think I will probably end up adding another frame in here since they are filling out that last frame with nectar. And we've got brood on this frame, so that's awesome. Um, let me see if I can spot my queen. So if you can see there, well maybe you can see better in that light. Got nice brood right through there, got uh, cap brood. You know, look at this frame, it's got brood up through here. Brood on this side. Now this is one of these that they don't really want to build on those wires. I'm hoping at some point they'll bridge across. What they have built there, they've got good brood in there. So that's looking really nice. Now this frame has a little bit of wild comb on it. I am not seeing as much capped brood. Oh, and I found my queen. Do I dare try to mark this one? Let's go ahead and catch her. Now where'd you go? Where are you, lady? Well, she got away from me this time. Let's see if we can get her next time. So anyway, Here's this little bit of wild comb I was talking about. I uh, don't know how well you'll be able to see that, get a little sun on it. Um, just a little, kind of an ear sticking out there. But you know, there's nothing really on it. I wonder if I can pull that off. There we go. Get rid of that. So where that ear was, they were kind of covering up an opening in that frame. So I'm not gonna go any further in here. I don't really need to. Um, we've seen what we need to see. We'll just put this back together and let them uh, go about their business. All right, so we have our frame here from uh, the cemetery swarm. Had a little bit of honey left up in it. So we'll just give that back to these guys. So that brings them out to eight frames. And I think they'll probably start growing pretty quickly once we hit the flow. Okay, and on to hive three. So Hive 3 has also been a real active colony. To be honest, all of mine have been active lately, so real pleased about that. Um, real pleased about my winter survival, and uh, I will be the first to admit it could be beginner's luck, but I'm just real happy with how these colonies have performed. Hitting the entrance with just a little bit of smoke. You know, it's great that they've survived. Happy to see so much honeybee activity, but I'm hoping this year that uh, that'll translate into some honey production. And one thing I will mention about that, I uh, try to keep my bees as naturally as possible, following principles that are taught in the book, Keeping Bees with a Smile, and also learned from Dr. Leo Sharashkin, as well as others who practice natural beekeeping. 
And as part of that, I don't feed the colonies unless absolutely necessary. Last fall, I did feed some to try to help them build up for winter. To be honest, I don't know if that was that beneficial. It seemed like the colonies that built up already had stores built up. And the one colony I was most worried about, which was my cemetery swarm, they built up some but just not enough. They were, were just not preparing for winter like I had hoped. I haven't fed all winter. I haven't fed it all this spring. And a lot of beekeepers do start to feed a one-to-one -one sugar water mix in spring to get the bees stimulated to start producing brood. Um, and that may be part of the reason I haven't seen brood until now is that I didn't feed earlier. But that's okay. I'm, I'm not planning to change anything about that. I might have gotten the bees a little bit earlier start, but I would rather let them go on their natural schedule, natural cycle. And that will probably translate into a little bit less honey, but I'm not managing the bees for big honey production. I'm managing the bees for the health of the colony and to provide some pollinators for my garden. So I'm okay with having a little less honey. I'm having to learn that I may have to wait a little later to see brood production, which now that I'm seeing that, it does make me feel better, I'll admit. But also it's a whole lot less work on the part of the beekeeper to not have to worry about doing all that feeding. So this hive had good stores coming out of winter. Uh, they still have good store. This last frame still has honey on it. And at this point, we haven't had enough of a nectar flow that I would expect that they would be storing up honey yet. Like we've seen on other frames, they're storing up some nectar, but I just don't think there's been enough nectar and enough time for them to be able to dry it out and make honey out of it. So what honey we see right now is probably the honey that they've had left over from winter. And these bees are pretty good in that regard. This colony does have six frames because as we were going into fall, this colony was looking pretty good, but they were just short a honey frame. And so I pulled one frame from hive one and put it in hive three. And both of these, by the way, who for those who haven't seen my earlier videos, both of these are splits from my original mother colony. So we've got on this frame, a oh, very similar to what we've seen in the other hives. We still have some honey stored up in here. They've gone through uh, some since we last inspected, which you would only ex expect that. I don't see much new nectar stored up in there. I do see in here, they've got pollen and bee bread stored up in there. So uh, that's good. They'd have to have that bee bread to feed the brood. And there is some, I see some wet nectar in there, and some of those cells are around honey, so it's possible those are cells that have been uncapped and they're just feeding off of them. And we've got great brood on this. Now you're seeing the, the far side, I haven't looked at that side yet, but uh, nice brood on this frame. I even got one drone cell. Another drone cell. They've got good brood over here. I'm looking for my queen. I don't want to move this frame around too much if my queen is romping around on it. Don't see her. So we've got, you know, brood, cap brood around there. Now you can see down, there's kind of lines down here and those correspond with the wires. They tend to avoid, um, I guess they see the wire under the wax as an imperfection. And so they don't want to lay eggs in that. And then on this other side, they've got nice brood pattern there. What I'm looking at up here is uh, possible, I thought it might be the start of a queen cup, but it uh, looks like that's not the case. And if it's the start of a queen cup, it could be a signal that they're <laughs> considering swarming soon but you wouldn't normally see a swarm cell on the face of the brood like that. So sometimes they will build what I've heard called play cups, which is kind of a mini queen cup. It's almost like they're practicing building queen cups. But as far as swarm cells, you'd normally see those at the bottom of the brood. And here this next frame, 
again lots of good brood we got drone cells those drone cells can be a sign that we're coming up on possibly throwing swarms because when they swarm they're going to need drones to mate with queens yeah we've got quite a few drone cells on here no queen cups though and I have not seen my queen yet but obviously she's working because there is good brood on these frames I'm gonna see if uh, if I can get this in the light don't know how well we'll be able to see that on camera but if you see these cells here that are kind of bumped out um, those are the drone cells they're a little bigger in diameter typically and a little longer than the normal worker bee cells because the drones are just bigger these bees in comparison to hive one this colony is super chill but like i said hive one has always kind of been they're not a hot colony what you'd call a hot colony as far as being aggressive but they've always been my more defensive colony Now this frame does not have the capped brood on it, but I do see eggs down in some of these cells. That's pretty cool to be able to see those eggs. Let's yeah, see, my queen may be somewhere in the vicinity. So these last few frames, there's not a whole lot on them, a little honey. But not much else. This one, they're, they've got some honey, got some nectar in there, got some pollen. So they've got resources stored up there. So these guys are on six frames, but they're filling them out pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and throw one or two more frames in here. And then we'll come back when the flow starts and really fill them up. Actually, I may be splitting some of these colonies, but either way, they can use the frames. Oh, ah, she got me. Dang, and they were so calm too. She just shot right out of there like a like a bee shoots out of a hive. I don't know, I can't think of a metaphor. Get down in there. Oh, we got a frame that's already started to be built out by that cemetery colony. And we'll add one more just frame of foundation. So that'll give them a little more space to work as those new bees hatch out. And otherwise, they are looking really good. So far, I am happy. So now we'll come over and see how the mother colony is doing. <laughs> 